Americans overwhelmingly support Arizona's right to control illegal immigration, but the liberal media don't. They're pushing a left-wing agenda and calling it news. It's time the liberal media tell the truth. Go to tellthetruth2010.org and join the fight. Republican Senator George Voinovich says that when push comes to shove, Congress will have to raise the debt ceiling. He also says the international markets already think the United States is, quote, irresponsible. Is the uh, debt ceiling going to be another crisis moment? I think they'll use it, but it'll be, uh, I mean, it, they're going to use it as an, an issue. But I think if you get up against it, I don't know how in the world you can say <laughs> you're not going to increase the debt ceiling. The fact of the matter is the signal it would send to the international marketplace about our irresponsibility, they already think we're irresponsible. <laughs> this is just, you know, uh, re reaffirm the fact that, you know. <laughs> and uh, so I was the 60th vote. Yeah, no. And I'll never forget coming down on the, on the elevator with Diane Feinstein, she said, well, she said, we're going to have to come back. The president's going to call us back. I said, Diane, I took care of you. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't, what I'm saying is the debt thing, we'll, we'll talk it to death. <laughs> but the fact of the matter, when push comes to shove, we're going to have to increase it. There's just no, now they can use it to say, well, we, to help use the pressure to, you know, keep spending. Now, all of us on the Appropriations Committee, I'm one of them, have said we can't spend any more than what we did uh, last time around. But uh, it, it, it's, it's another thing that would help us, yes. When asked about the White House Deficit See, Commission's report, no Senator Voinovich offered his own recommendation. I'd love to know, because yeah. yeah, I know you came out in favor of what the Deficit Commission did, but how do we get from here to there? <clears throat> I think we have to blow up the place. Uh, there's a big debate going on right now, and um, most people want to uh, work an agreement, they're going to extend it, some deal will be made. Uh, my concern is that we have this almost crescendo that's coming out, and I believe that if we, I call it, kick the can down the road, that the tax reform that I've been working on for since George Bush and, and, uh, and uh, got together with, with, uh, with John Bro and Connie Mack, who, by the way, did a fantastic job of coming back with some tax reform, and then it got, it just was, was on the shelf over at the White House. They, President Bush didn't do anything with it. I'm afraid that we'll just kick it down, the can down the road. We won't see the tax reform. We won't see uh, the, uh, any, any control of real spending. And uh, the closer we get to 2012, the more difficult it will become. And so you'd vote against the extension? I'm going to vote against, I'm, I'm voting against everything. I am. Senator Voinovich's comments were made here during a roundtable discussion at the Aspen Institute. Nicholas Ballacy, CNSNews.com, Washington.